Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, this is, I have a circuit box. This is used to uh, make science experiments. So today I'm going to show you the box and what's inside of it. And I'll show you how to make different types of circuits. So this is used to make circuits. There are many types of circuits. Today I'm going to be making the simple circuit. There are many types like complex and parallel circuits. So this is, I'm going to show you how to make a simple and easy circuit. So first, this is also going to be a small unboxing. So I added some stuff to it so I can make a bigger circuit. So I have opened this recently. So we can open it like this. We keep the box aside. Box aside. So this opens like this and this. So first I'll tell you how to make a bulb. Okay guys, now you can see there are many components inside. This is the first layer, there are two layers. So I have so uh, I have these are alligators. There's a bulb holder. This is a motor. This is the uh, fan which goes on the motor. I have a small compass. There's a switch to turn uh, the circuit on and off. And uh, this bulb, this bulb, you will put it in the bulb holder, and then uh, it will light up. So I'll show you how to light up a bulb. Bulb. So you take a bulb. You see, put it inside the bulb holder like this. I'll keep this aside. So this like this. It's in. So we keep the it straight. I soldered these alligators onto the battery, so now it will work. It's soldered together. So look, I'll put it, and it is working. The bulb. So it's it, because of the electricity, it's trans, it's flowing through the wires to the circuit. So you, you don't ha you don't have to put your hands on it, or else it's going to give you shock, or it might get hot. So next, we're going to do is a, a motor. So this is how to do a motor. You take the motor. I will first attach one side on it. I have to first take out the pins a bit. And then you have to attach it like this. And then the other pin like this. Okay, first then I'll put the fan on it. So you can see how it moves. And okay, the fan is on. Now I'll connect it. You can see it's moving. So that's how to make a fan. Now, friends, now this is how to make a motor. Now I'll show you how to uh, how to make a circuit with two bulbs. So now I'll keep my other stuff back. Now I'll take off the first layer. I have to take one bulb. I have guys. So I I had an old circuit. I had two bulbs on it, so I took them. I'm going to use one of them. So I'll use this one. You can see. I'll put it over here. And one, I'll use the one I was using before. So now I have to connect it like this again. And you only need one extra wire for this and two batteries. So you take the wire, make it straight. So now you have to connect one end. So I'm going to connect this red alligator with the first bulb. I have to open it and then, okay. And now I'll connect this black alligator with this one. So it's now connected like that. Now, oops, I have to take this one and connect this part I have to make it straight so I need alligators for this you see this alligator it has a small compartment you can use this and then you make the wire thin and then you see this copper part it you can put it through this hole so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make it straight and then I'm going to make it go through this copper hole and now it's in I have to just Put the cap on and it's done so now i have to connect this part okay now it's connected now i have to hold the bulb you can see both bulbs are lighting up i'll put it down and show you guys oopsies i have to connect it again it's easy just a bit of steps and both bulbs are lighting up because of the electricity see guys 
guys this is a complex circuit uh, this is a easy one it's a easy complex circuit you i used one two batteries it's in a battery holder 1.5 watts battery this is my home battery but this came with the circuit these batteries they both are 1.5 watts so this becomes 3 watts and uh, I, I used these alligators i sold it on the batteries so now the, i use both of the sides of the alligator to connect it and then i used one extra wire and one extra alligator to connect this wire to this wire so you can see both of the bulbs are lighting up. And guys, now oh, tell me why isn't this working? If you know this, comment down below. But it's uh, very easy. I just remove the wire, and that's why it's not working. But guys, tell me why is it becoming so dim in the comments? Because one one but one one of them gets dim each time. So tell me why is it becoming dim in the comments? But if you do it without the uh, without one extra bulb, you can you can see it's just super bright. But if you do it with two bulbs, why is it dim? You can comment down below. Okay, now I'll tell you how to make a simple circuit. So if you if you want to make a simple circuit, you have to get at least two batteries or one battery which is at least three volts. I have these batteries, or I can use these batteries if I want. But I'm going to use these ones because they're, I think that they're more powerful and new. So I'll use these ones. So this is how you connect them. Then if you want to choose any bulb or anything, you can do this. Look, this is another bulb holder and this is a small bulb holder. But both of them will work because when you see this part, the down bulb holder part is made out of uh, copper. And copper allows electricity to pass through. You can see. It has. You see. It will work both of them. I have one other. Let me try that one if that works. Guys, you can also comment which one is brighter. I, this one is this much. I'll do the other one. So this is this much. And I think so. My uh, my answer is I think so. This one, which this one is more brighter. But comment down below which one is more brighter. This one, this one, or this one. So next. I'll tell you how to do it with a switch. I have one extra switch here, but this was from my last circuit. My father sold it this on me. So it's just a switch sold it on the motor. So this is the where I will connect these both alligators. So I'll have to connect. You can choose any side if you want to connect black side over here or here or red side over here or here. So this circuit is soldered on the top of the motor. You can see this is the part. This is the main part. You don't, you don't touch it or else you'll get uh, electrocuted or shocked. So first you put this one, I'll connect it with one pin, which is left with the switch. I'll connect it there. Okay, now the electricity is not flowing yet because I didn't, it's not still working. I'll turn it off first. Okay, so it's not working because I turned off the switch. It's working now because I turned on the switch. If you want to hear the voice, now you can hear the voice. I'm putting the microphone near it so you can hear the voice. It's working because I turned on the switch, but if I turn it off, it will stop working. I'll show you now how to make a, a circuit with a switch. So, I'll, you need, if you want to use two bulbs, you can use two bulbs, but I'm going to use only one bulb. For this, I'll use one wire also. So, first, I'll connect two of them like this. I'll connect both. I'll connect one part. You can choose black or red. I'll choose red. Because this stays more tight, eh? and now I'll have to take one switch from here. I also have a compass, so yeah. yeah. So you can see this is a switch, same like this one, just a bit. This one is new, this one is old. Okay, so we'll connect the wire. I need one more wire for this actually, so I'll use one more wire. I will need one more alligator, I think so. I need a black alligator. So I'll connect it uh, like this. I have to connect it. It's quite hard to connect because the alligators are hard. So I'm going to use the same method as I use in the center. Probably it will work. Okay, I tried my best. Yeah. Okay, that's on. I think so now. I will put this through the hole. I have to make it straight. Because there's a copper, it goes straight and then in the hole. And then now in the 
it's still not straight enough. Okay. Okay, so the switch is currently off. I'll try it. Oops, it got disconnected from here. Look, now it's working. When the switch, let me try to connect this part into it. Okay, I'll connect this in here. Okay, now I'll turn off the switch. Let's see if it works or no. I'll bring it closer. Guys, so you can see after some time I have connected the wire with the alligator. This one was old, so it was not opening full, so I'll use a new one. And now I'll see if this works. The switch, three, two, one. Yeah, it works. Look, it's off right now. And now it's on. It's turning off as I turn it off. So this is called a simple circuit. You can also make a simple circuit without a switch, but I made it without a, uh, with a switch, so I can show you guys. So this will, I'll tell you how to make it. It's very easy. There are some other circuits made on the back of the box and instructions here. So this one is which i made not this but i didn't use the motor i only use the batteries two wires i think so yeah probably two wires and um, and one bulb and two batteries so that's what i used and one switch so this is connected and as i turn off the switch this happens because there's a there's a plastic or there's a flow which stops there and as i on it it allows the uh, electricity to flow so that's how the switch works guys now i'm going to be making a, a circuit with the bulbs and the motor so i'll be using one bulb and some wires which will be called for this okay i'll put the back the alligators when i need them i can use them so okay now i have to okay that's good i have to take this out we are not using a switch for this one just a normal this is but it's a complex circuit so first i'll take out the motor which i want and i will have to make it stand so i will have to first connect the wires to the motor first i'll connect this like this and guys if this one if this if it doesn't work without uh, two batteries i will try it with uh, this one also but i'll just try like this uh, i think so it won't be enough because the motor takes three watts and there's only i think so one watt or 1.5 watts the more power the more brighter the bulbs get and the more power uh, for the motor the more powerful the motor gets so that's how it works i'll first just connect this i will take the red one i think so yeah the red one Ouch, yeah, it's connected. Make it tight. Then I'll make it connect. I'll use an alligator. Mm, I think so, I did one. So I will have to connect like this. I'll use the other side. Okay. I have to make it straight. It's quite hard. Okay, I connected that. Okay, now I will connect the motor. Okay, so this is uh, with the I'm going to connect the motor right here in the holes. So bit straight. Okay, so I'll make the wire straight. If you want to make a very good circuit, you just need to make the wire as straight as possible so the copper is solid. After some time, you have to do this so the wire stays good in a good condition. I will try to make it go through the hole and then. And then, okay, so there's in, I think so, yeah. Okay, now I think so, I'll probably have to just connect one wire for this. I think so, I will need a black alligator for this one. Because I have to keep on holding it and here, so it's going to be a bit hard. I'll use the same method. It's a very easy step to use. This is, I think, so for hard copper on this side, and on this side is like soft copper, which can be turned into any shape, but this one is quite hard to turn in any shape. Okay, in and then I put the cover on. Guys, there's plastic on the cover, so when you're using them, it doesn't uh, shock you or electrocute you. So that's why it's just for safety. And plastic is a good insulator, by the way. It's very hard to put it in because it doesn't stay in the same place. Guys, I have connected the wires. Let's try it on this side and let's see if it works. Let's make this wire straight. Ouch, that. I think so. It's going to work. Comment down below. 
Guys, it's working. Guys, let's see if it works. So, I have the fan. I took it out the sword box. And, um, okay, it's working, I think. So, yeah, I just tried it. It's working. Now, I have to make it go through that hole. Okay. Okay, I have to attach the fan first. Guys, let's see if it works. Guys, it's working. The bulb is too, like so much brighter than I thought. And the fan is also working. If you can see the red fan, this without it, the whole circuit closes just because of this wire. And then the bulb is so bright, you can see. And the fan is also quite fast. You can see it spinning. So that's how to make it. Guys, this was the complex circuit. Complex circuits are the circuits which have like more than like two or like three components in it to make it work like this. I have used more than two or three components in it. You can see. And if I want to light up another bulb, it's very easy. You just have to take it out of that copper area and then make it straight. And then there's how to light another bulb. You put it through the okay, hold it there, and then you yeah, see both of them are lighting up properly. Guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye.